Hello everybody. Aye aye, it's time for a bedtime story. The tale of the wee Maldi that went to take in where Keith done his head. Yin day the wee Maudi pouked his head out frae a blow the ground to see whether or no the sun had already risen. Then it happened. It was lang and brun, looked a bit like a lynx asser, and the worst of it was it landed recht on his head. Oh, keech, cried the wee Maudi. What has done us on my head? But he was that short sifted he couldn't see anybody about. Did you do this on my head? He speared at the dew that was just fleeing by. Me? No, how could I? I do it like this, answered the dew. And plash, a sappy white blab, drop it onto the ground, ricked aside the wee mowdy. His right leg was splergit white. Did you do this on my head? He speared at the cuddy that was gressing in the field. Me? No. How could I? I do it like this, answered the cuddy. And flump! Five great muckle cuddy apples dunt it doon just a midgey's whisker fra the wee mowdy. He was gay impressed. Did you do this on my head? He speared at the mocking. Me? No, how could I? I do it like this, answered the mocking. And rat a tat tat, fifteen wee ruined beans skite it past the Maudie's lugs. He rescued it as cell with a lichtsome loup. Did you do this on my head? He speared at the gate. That had just been hearing a wee snoozle. Me? No. How could I? I do it like this, answered the gate. And tick tack, a heap of taffy coloured wee bars cowp it onto the grass. The wee mowdy was sair tempted to try in. Did you do this on my head? He speared at the coo that was chowing the cud. Me? No, how could I? I do it like this, answered the coo. And curse splosh, a whopping brunish green pancake burst it onto the grass, just aside the wee mowdy. He was guy glad the coo wasna the een that caked on his head. Did you do this on my head? He speared at the grumph. Me? No, how could I? I do it like this, answered the grumph. And splatch, a soft brune heap plunk it onto the grass. The wee mowdy hod it his neb. Did you do this on my... He was about to spear Yent's mare, but as he looked at nearer, he was he seen only twa pudgy black muck fleas, and they were eaten. At last, a crater that could gaze a hand, thought the Maori. What did this on my head? He speared keenly. Hod still, buzzled the fleas. Then after a wee whilee, it says plain as parritch, it was a dug. No, at long and last, the wee Maori kent wha keeked on his head. Hamish, the butcher's dog. Fest is lichnin, he clam onto Hamish's kennel, and Totty black jobby landed right on top of the dog's head. Contented at last, the wee Maudie howk it back down, 
and awa into his honour grand hoose.